As long as there's a pink that looks good on me, it'll all be oh, fine. Oh, we'll find that. Because if sure. there's not a pink, I can't yeah. do this. Well, folks, I'm running on about two hours of sleep. I've got a matcha in hand that I hope will help me survive. My hormones are wackadoodle right now. I am PMSing out the wazoo. I'm getting my period tomorrow or supposed to. We'll see if she comes on time. So I have like really bad hormonal breakouts. My, I don't know if this happens to anybody else. I'm either exhausted and sleep like the dead before I get my period or I am wired. Last night, unfortunately, folks, I was wired. I was just, it could have been two in the afternoon when it was two in the morning. I was like, ping. So I got like a combined two hours, which was like two or three small chunks. So I am like feeling jet lagged, even though I woke up in the same city I fell asleep in. So that's how I'm feeling. But today I'm very excited because I have been wanting to do this for months now. I've been seeing all the cool girlies on TikTok talking about getting their colors done. And you know, I have talked about as a blind person, the importance of understanding color and what suits you in my makeup video tip. In my makeup video tips. In my makeup tips video. In my fashion tips video. Like I think it's oh, so- Oh, sorry, Mike, but the camera was down. <laughs> I didn't sleep that well either. So for a while, the, the camera slipped down to your kind of neck or your mouth. <laughs> it's going to be one of those videos today, folks. It's going to be one of those videos. Lavender decided to wake up four this morning and it wasn't happy till we got up. I got up in particular. Yeah. So as I was saying, so I've talked about how important I think it is. And what better way than to not like ask friends or family, but to actually get a professional this woman, all she does every single day for hours on end is analyze people's features, their hair color, their skin color, their eye color, and determine what season they are and what colors within that season are gonna suit them best. So she told me to come with no makeup, though I think I am gonna spot conceal because I've got some ragers on my chin. She told me to come with my hair up to bring clothes and makeup. So I pulled out a bunch of clothes, just like random tops of mine that are different colors. Do you wanna come? Show the assortment here, Neve. I grabbed two makeup bags because I'm gonna go throw a bunch of blushes and lipsticks and shadows in there. Just grabbed a bunch of different colors uh, things, which, you know, you know me, I've got lots of color. So I'm gonna pack that up, gonna fill these with some makeup and we are gonna hit the road. I don't live near her. So we're gonna go on a bit of a road trip. Maybe I'll have a nap. That's a good idea. In the car. Maybe the car will Although maybe sleep. it's not a good idea. You know, sometimes when you're exhausted, it's actually worse to sleep. But uh, yeah, Neve Burke. You pack this up, I go pack these up, tag team it. Got it. Here we're seeing some hyperspeed footage of Molly packing up her makeup at her vanity. <laughs> Sorry. So one of us stuck, stuck to the deal. I got my stuff done, Neve. Yes, you did. And evidently, you did not. I did, I was trying to put on a little bit of scrap of makeup just to feel a little bit better today. Sorry. Here we go. Tsk, 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 slacking on the job. Oh, that's for the other side. <laughs> Too tired for this. Also, I picked this color blocking outfit because I thought it was fitting, but I'm gonna bring like a neutral in case she wants me to just have a neutral on. She didn't say anything about what to wear, but I'm not sure, so bringing lots of options. Here we have some footage in the car ride. Molly looks like she's hopefully getting some sleep in and Elton John is loyally by her side. All right, we have arrived. I cannot stop yawning, so don't take it personally. No personal. Uh, I feel like it's the middle of the night and I was like awoken to, to have to function and I'm barely doing it. So we'll see how this goes, but I'm really looking forward to this. This is Joy. I am very excited to connect with you to do colors. Um, my mom and dad got their colors done back in the 80s when it was very popular and it seems to have had a full resurgence in the past little while. And it's it kind has. of evolved. Yes, it has. Because there used to be just the four seasons as we know them, fall, winter, spring, summer. Exactly. But now there's a lot more. So with the original four seasons, 
what they found over time is that only about 25% of the population falls under one of those four seasons. So about 75% of the population was not being well served by that. And then I think it just kind of fell out of favor. And I'm also not sure like back then, because my husband went and had it done, it's like you knew what your season was, but there's a lot of information. It just doesn't matter that much if you know you're a winter. What matters is to understand fully all of the colors and the makeup, and there's so much to it. So a woman named Catherine Kalitz, a few years back, she came along and created that 12 season methodology. And that's the one I decided to be certified in because I feel like it's the most credible. And it uses a method of comparison. So you'll sit in front of a mirror and I'll keep comparing drapes and I'm looking in the mirror seeing it. Mm. And so we just keep using process of elimination, like what's better, this or this? Where do you look more credible, here or here? You know, where are you more elevated, attractive? Like where does paleness show up? Right, where, are, you, where are the features popping in the good way? Exactly. Versus just kind of disappearing? Yes, exactly, and in fact, when we put some of the wrong colors, if they're not enough color for you, mm -hmm. what you'll find is that that's where that wallflower effect comes up, right? Where people recede into the background. And I think on film, they use it strategically, right? Right, they want that would make sense. Background as opposed to foreground. You just put them in colors that wash them out, have them look pale, a little bit more drawn. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens when the color is not enough for you. It's funny, you're using words that my mom totally uses to describe when I put on a color that doesn't suit me when oh. I'm shopping. So you've it's got a bit of like an eye. those kind of yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's great. Like orange for Molly, it just it looks bizarre. Like, it just doesn't work. Yeah, all forms of like orange and peach like don't seem to pull right on Washed okay. out. I look really pale. Okay. Sickly. <laughs> so one of the other things we'll look at is, so we talked about when the color's not enough for you, and then sometimes the color's too much for mm -hmm. you. And so what happens then is we say the color's out in front, and so it's kind of like when a woman, let's say you're at a party, and there's a woman that comes in in a canary yellow dress, and people look and they're like, wow, look at that dress, it's so highly colored. And then it takes people a minute to say, oh, that's Megan. Mm -hmm. And the reason we have that experience of like looking just at the dress is because it's not Megan's color and it's out in front in a way that has you the colors where you. Yes. Yes. That's another way to the color. say it. It dominates. It's out in front. It's when it's ideal. We want to have people see us looking like extraordinary. Our best. We want to look yeah. our best. Exactly. And then you also want to have your garments looking great too. And you kind of want to see everything all at once. So a lot of times today I'll say, so Molly, you're really stacked now. And what I mean is like, I can totally see you, you're popping, and then also at the same time, I can see the garment. So not one is dominating over the other. Well, here's what I tell people is, this is about looking and feeling great. So if you have something that you love and you feel great in it, then you're gonna wanna keep that. You know, it's not- Yeah, it doesn't it's matter that not it's not about your that. perfect color. Yeah, it's, it's about, at the end of the day, how you feel. And so if you feel great in it, you keep it. And some of those things, even if they're not great, I can kind of show you how to wear them and what to add mm. to it that would that would elevate it. Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I feel like when we're not wearing colors that are enough for us, which is, that's the most common thing, because people are, we're scared of colors when we don't know I'm we're not. Scared. I love <laughs> color, but a lot of people, like a lot of people dress in all neutrals. It's very common. All neutrals or very muted. Mm -hmm. Like if you're into a ritzy and a lot of shops, it's a lot of very muted colors. Yes. So that's kind of, for one thing, that's what's current and in style. And so that's the other thing that has us get off track is because- What's trending. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like you go into the stores and it's like, oh, okay, I'll just buy this stuff. That's what's here right now. And there's always a color of the year too, right? Oh, like yes. there's always kind of the two or three popular hot colors. The past few years, it's been the cerise pink, the kind of jade yes. greens. Yeah, and that's like a collective agreement. You know that people sit down and decide yeah. what are gonna be the coming upcoming colors. And it has nothing to do with me. So it'll get warm in here because of the soft boxes. I'm gonna drape you in a neutral gray drape and then I'm gonna put like colored drapes on top of that. 
So we'll have you kind of just with a neutral gray over top, probably. Okay. Yeah. And so can you explain a bit of the process? Because it's a, it's a lengthy process. It takes a couple yeah. of hours yes, with it you. Does. We've got lighting here to light us up, not just for filming. You <laughs> use these just for the yes. color analysis itself. So what's like the actual process like that we're going to go okay. through? Okay. So here is my color season flow chart. And so what's on here, Molly, is it's got all the 12 seasons on here. So winter is a cool season, as is summer, and then spring and autumn are the warm seasons. And so how they get 12 seasons is each of those four seasons has a neutral season, which you can see on here. So the neutral seasons, like say for example, I'm a bright winter right here. So it's a winter season, so it's predominantly cool, but it's also got a touch of warmth because it borders um, bright spring. So we're going to start off, we're going to have four key drapes, and it's going to be from winter, spring, summer, and autumn. And we're not going to make any decisions based on that, but we're going to just see how you respond to color, right? And it's like, okay, so is does stuff get heavy on you? Do you get washed out? We're just going to start to observe. And then from there, we're going to start to compare all of the different seasons and start to eliminate from there. Okay. Yeah. And once we have your season, then the next thing I do is I bring out makeup. And I know you love makeup. I do. So you're good. That's going to be super fun for you. And makeup is such a game changer. I feel like it's my favorite part of this process mm. because for one thing, I feel like a lot of the colors that are out, like let's say at MAC and Sephora, people tend to buy the more muted stuff yeah. it's because we don't know, right? And so we go in, we buy a, usually summer and autumn makeup is what's most common out there. And it can be, it's, I sometimes wonder if there's any advantage to having it on when it's not great for us, yeah. you know, cause it's, it's makeup. If it's not, it's meant to highlight the right yeah. features, right? So if it's not your right color, then it's not highlighting the features it's, correctly. It's not elevating you and it's also potentially detracting and working mm. actively against you. So once you get your makeup on, then we go back and we have luxury drapes and there's about 30 drapes that are then all inside your season. And we just look at and have fun at like, what are some of these colors and how might you want to wear them? You know, what are your favorites? And we go through that. And then there's also a Facebook group. So a lot of people are not aware of 12 season personal color analysis now, but people are becoming more aware. And what's interesting is, so there's Facebook groups for all of them. You just search under Facebook for, let's say like dark winter and you'll have multiple. Elton's Elton. a winter by the way. <laughs> He's a solid We've winter. We've already decided. Probably red might be his best. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> that, you know, yeah. so he does look fabulous in red. Yeah. Yes. Also, Joy has a Bernadoodle. So there is a fellow Bernie's Mountain Dog mix here, Ooh. and he smells her, and he really wants to go see her. Yeah. They yeah. like to be in the middle of everything, yes. as you can see. Yes. yes, I can tell you want to be in the middle. Yeah. In the very middle. Yes, yeah, he's a sweet, sweet boy. And <laughs> I love his name, I gotta say. I'm sure you can kind of look at people and get, like, a pretty immediate read, and then kind of narrow it down from there. I can on some people. Like, some people walk in here, and it, it seems to me they might be a true summer or something like that, and in fact, they are. But when you dye your hair, it creates some distortion, mm -hmm. right? Like I can't entirely see, you know, the original. I know. I was worried about that because I'm blonde right to the roots right now. Right. Whereas I, you know, naturally I have very dark brown hair. I saw that. And it's more on the warm side of brown. Like it has yeah. like reds oh, running okay. through it. Yeah. More of a warm blonde right now. And that seems to be like, everybody seems to like the warm hair colors on me. I've noticed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I don't I don't have a read on you at all. Yeah. Interesting. Which is not a bad thing. In fact, it's it's a good thing because it creates no bias. I was gonna say there's no bias yeah, going it, into it. Mm -hmm. it. Like my trainer, she said, like, don't try to figure people out ahead of time. It's just go through the process. The process is magical and it works. And so I just go through the process. And sometimes I look at somebody and I think, oh, okay, they're probably a soft autumn. And then I, I thought that yesterday and she ended up being a dark winter. So I just even if I have a thought, I just follow Try the process. Try to push it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, I am excited to get started. Yay. We're going to cover Molly's hair because she's dyeing it. So we're going to put a neutral gray so that we don't have any um, distortion or anything that would mislead us. 
I, I think this is a really good look for me. What do you think? <laughs> it's actually got, really cool looking. I've got my neutral gray <laughs> drape on. There is a mirror in front of me. And Joy just stands behind me and she's going to drape different colors over me and look at me through the mirror. So the mirror is actually for her to look at me, not for me to look at me. My mom it has, an, it has her guess as to what she thinks I am. So I'm going to be very intrigued to see if I end up being what, what you think I am or not. Any guesses? Comment now below what season you I think wonder, I am. are you a mix between a spring and a winter? I don't, I don't know. Because you're dark, right? But you're also light-skinned. I'm a chameleon. It's so interesting. Here we have some sped up footage of them going through some of the color sheets. I'm wondering who who's a good client for this? Who's a good customer? Who do you find is frequently coming in for this? I hear a lot of people that say they have a wardrobe full of black mm. and they're they're in a style rut with black and also energetically they you know, wearing all black makes you feel a certain kind of way. And some of them aren't even sure if black looks good on them. So I hear that story a lot. And also some of these seasons, like coloring can be so delicate. And I had one lady come like a, a doctor a, a couple of months ago and she said, I've never felt good in any colors ever. Oh. And she's like, I'm tired of that, yeah. you know? So there's also that. And then I've got a lady come in, she's about to go to Milan shopping, and so she wants to get her colors done before she goes shopping. So there's a whole range, sometimes before they do their website. Okay, so I have got True Spring and True Autumn here, and this is the white, okay? So there's True Spring is on the top, and then True Autumn. So these, this is a warm season. I'm not loving either one of these on you, but I think potentially I see you a little bit better with the True Autumn. So this is spring on top and it's a very bright uh, spring color. It's a pink and it almost looks like a princess. You know that color pink princess? Right. And it looks a little silly, Molly. Like when it's not your color, it tends to look like a cartoon on you. Mm -hmm. And I would say that's what I'm seeing. Like you're playing dress up or something. A playing dress up, that's a good way to say it. And then here I'm looking at, so this is the red version of Autumn, and it's more like a terracotta, you know, a warm brown. Mm. And I, I prefer that on you. I can see you better. You look more refined. Dalton, there was no need to punch me. <laughs> Dalton just picked his foot up and punched me. <laughs> okay, so I've got spring on top again, and this is, it's a yellow now. So it's kind of a light yellow here for spring. And then when I peel that back, it's kind of a mustardy brown kind of yellow that I'm seeing for mm -hmm. autumn. So when I look at you with the spring color, it, it just has you look quite young, I would say, and not, it diminishes your authority. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to say it. Not young in a good way. Or not, not young in a good way. And here with the autumn, I don't love that on you, but I prefer it to the spring yellow. I would take you more seriously in that autumn yellow. As long as there's a pink that looks good on me, it'll all be oh, fine. Oh, we'll find that. Because if sure. there's not a pink, I can't yeah. do this. It's so funny. Your grandmother in Ireland this morning was saying, like, she loves fashion too. And she said, well, anytime I wear pink, she wears pink or pinks. Everybody loves it. So she does. She wears a ton of pink. It's lovely on her. Okay, so this is a spring. It's like a lime green on top. And it's not bad, actually. So I one thing that I'm seeing so far is I like you in green. <laughs> right? So I'm going to peel back that lime green and there is now it's kind of like a faded uh, khaki color. Like mm -hmm. it's a light olive green for autumn. The spring lime green, it's leading. I'm seeing that first and you're in the background a bit. And then with the autumn green, like it's not awesome on you, but it's better of the two. So, so far it's looking like winter's in the lead. Uh -huh. I would say it's looking like winter's in the lead. Like your dad. But things... It can zigzag right to the last minute. Yeah, it does. And it's really interesting. I've had one one guy and he said, did we do something wrong? Because we it was looking a particular way and then at the last minute went a different way. So oh. it can, you know, it, it'll keep you guessing right until the end. So that again is looking kind of young on you. And then there's a teal underneath that's uh, autumn. And I find that quite nice. People love teal on me. Oh, I like this that. This is a color. Her eyes start to pop. Yeah, I love that. And look how sophisticated. Yeah, very nice. 
Yeah, people, that's a color people really like on me. Okay, so teal is one of the most universal colors. It's it's in a lot of the palettes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I tell people if you're going to have, a, like for a wedding, getting colors that's going to work for everybody, teal is one of your best shots because it's one of the most universal colors. That's so interesting. So I'm going to take spring out right now, and we're left with winter and autumn. Oh, that's interesting. So you do it on there. So now I'm going to compare all of them. So there's six six seasons left and I'm going to compare all of them and it doesn't much matter which direction I do the comparison so long as everything gets compared. Mm. So I'm going to start with a dark winter and I'm going to kind of compare that to soft autumn and soft autumn on the bottom. So dark winter on top and yeah, soft winter Yeah, so that's bottom. pretty. Look at that knee. Yeah. Isn't that kind of sophisticated? It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. And it just looks... It's not the brightest white. It's you know, but it is a it's a bright white with a little bit of softness to it, and you look sophisticated in that for sure. And then now we've got a very creamy soft autumn, and you just got quite pale there. Mm, this is so fascinating. So again, you're looking great in that white, very sophisticated for dark winter. And then with the creamy, it's erasing you, getting very mm -hmm. pale. And then there's this sophistication that I really like on you. I feel like it's like a, like you're cheating the system when you know your colors. <laughs> like I feel like you're like winning at life. It's an unfair you know a secret. Yes, yes, yes. Like you've is. unlocked a secret. Yeah. So get dark winter red on the top. Beautiful. Ooh, there's the orange that Neve doesn't like on you. That's a, it's a warm kind of orange as their version of red. And it's just, you kind of look sallow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No oranges look good on me, it seemingly. Yeah. Like, no, it's not, well, maybe there is, but we haven't found one. We've not one. found one. No. It's the only color we have not found a good one for yeah. me. All right, I'm going to stop filming for a bit because I don't want to give it all away yet. We want to keep the surprise for everyone as to which color I am. Autumn or winter? So you listen incredibly well, Molly. Thank you. I, you know, when it's all you've got is listening, you get good at it. Mm -hmm. I can tell, like, how present you are mm -hmm. and your memory for everything I say. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My my memory, I will say, is is quite unmatched. I was just saying, I've always, always, always been a pink girl, but the blues and greens are seeming to look really good on me. So I guess I might have to add some into the wardrobe. I'm such a pastel girl, so it's weird having jewel tones, like more deeper tones, because I'm like, I'm I love my pastel. This blue that I've got on you right now, Molly, that looks so nice. That's that bright sapphire blue. It's like bright and dark. Mm. Yeah. Right. We we never do dark blues, do we? Never. If we do blue, it's always pastel. Yeah. So ladies, we're down to winter only. I'm a winter. <laughs> well, it's we still no. could end up somewhere and look again. So it, I don't do that till the very last minute. Okay, so yeah. keep the suspense. Keep the suspense. Okay, we've got my color. I said I'm not sure how to feel about it until I know the colors in the palette. I'm a little bit nervous about it. I'd say these colors are outside of my comfort zone. I am a dark winter. This is my color palette of 65 shades. Yes, yeah. Is there a pink? That is all I need to know. Oh, yes. There's, oh, there's lots, lots of, of pink. Pinks. Oh, thank there's, God. <laughs> even though it's dark winter, there's lots of colors there. Is there pastels? Yes. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll be yeah. fine. We'll yes. be fine. I knew, yeah. I figured the pastel would be in there, the pink. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty, right, Nice. It's so pretty. Right? Actually, there's, the colors are very pretty. Uh, yeah. 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 So it's not like they're all dark, but for dark winter... Like, you can locate yourself in darkness in a way that most other people can't. Mm. Yeah. Look, it's my palette. So now what we've done is we've swatched a bunch of the dark winter lipsticks. And we're kind of narrowing down which ones I might want to try on. So we've decided that Molly's going to try. This is uh, Russian Red by MAC. Stunning, a nice bold lip for Molly. And then she also wants to try the Ruby Ruby, a really nice bright cherry red. And we for sure gonna try this Vogue because that's just such a beautiful day-to-day -day lipstick for dark winters. Now we're doing the makeup. So I just put on my foundation and we're gonna experiment a bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually start putting some makeup on my face. We're starting with lip colors. Left handed eye remember. Yes, right now. yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Joy, kindly help me put the blush on because it's a very dark color and I'm a very fair skinned girl, so I knew I would probably go way too heavy handed, so. So that's the blush. As you can see, it's a very deep, bold color, but it is kind of within my my color palette. That's looking more vibrant than how I was describing it and saying it's very light and day-to-day. -day. It's 
That actually packs a punch on you. I wonder if it's because I'm very fair skinned. So here is your eyeshadow palette. And so you can see how it just really harmonizes inside the palette. It looks like it belongs and it matches some of the colors. It must be much easier for warm toned people to shop for clothes and makeup. Uh, I, I agree. There's so much warmth out there. And in terms of makeup, you're right, there's a lot of autumn makeup. A lot of autumn makeup. I feel very overwhelmed by the idea that I'm a cool tone. And I was really hoping for spring, because I, I think that would just be easy. So how do you want to do this? Do you want me to put it on? Or do you want to put it on? Yeah, why don't you put it on? Because it'll be hard for me since I don't know the color. That's what I was just thinking. You haven't really worked with this mm -hmm. before. Okay, so I do a pretty basic job on this, but it's like... The theory is that once you've got your right colors on, the application is kind of secondary. Having the right colors is what really makes a difference. Dark but cool browns, like a variation of browns in here, and a, like kind of a white shiny one that we can mix it. White, a bit creamy here, and I've just mixed it so that it just kind of reduces the darkness a bit just to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm coming in here. There, how, how'd I do me? I think that looks so Quite good. good, right? Yeah. Everyone's seeming to think these colors are looking really good on me. I guess I really am a dark winter. <laughs> okay, Joy, just help me with the eye makeup because again, I don't know the palette, so I can't really do it myself. But that's, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I think those colors are great. I love the way it's changed the color of your eyes and brought out a little bit more, I could be wrong, but a bit more hazel. I've never heard I have hazel eyes in my life. I've heard green, blue, and gray, never <laughs> hazel. I was just saying how much I wish I could see the difference it makes because it feels like overwhelming right now knowing that most of my life is warm tone so it feels like very overwhelming and I think if I could see the difference it made it would feel more exciting and less scary. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. Yeah. Elton, we're both winters, babe. Yeah. We could shop in the same palette. Okay, so this first one, Molly, is like a petal pink. It's a very soft pink, but it's a cool pink. And with that red lipstick, it looks just stunning. It's so funny you say that because I'm obsessed with a pastel pink and a bright red lip. Uh, yes, you are. Yeah. It's it. one of my favorite go-tos. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So these are called my luxury drapes. These are all the colors that are in my palette. So here we've got um, like a really bright purple. And it looks, I, again, with that lipstick, I love purple and red together. That's looking stunning for you. So here's like a Kelly green. Mm. Whoa. Looks amazing. Okay. That, oh my gosh. <laughs> we okay. love all, everybody's loving the greens. I love the greens. I love how that looks. It's so Irish Gaelic looking. It's lovely. <laughs> yeah. That could be your new favorite lipstick that you've got on. That is so stunning. So what, do you remember which one that one? This one is the Russian red. Okay, good. Whoa. I find that so at home on you. So here is now, this is kind of like a, it's a dark plum. And it's looking really good on you. I don't love it with that lipstick, but it's it's a stunning color on you. Okay, that now is this so good. is like kind of a dark cherry red. Mm. And it's, oh, it looks so good on you, Molly. And with those red lips, that's so stunning. Like That's like kind of your gala look. Really nice. Yeah. So here is, this is a shinier one, and it's like a cool burgundy. And it looks, it looks stunning. I don't love it with that red lipstick, but it looks stunning on you. Here's a really interesting green. It's kind of like a dark olive. So there's a little bit of warmth to this green and that, that looks so wow. nice. Wow, your eyes just like pop with that. Right. So can you see now, Neve? now that we're doing these colors, oh, it's yeah. like without a shadow of a doubt. Yes. She is like thriving yes. in these. Yeah. Okay, good. Guess we'll be looking for more greens. Yeah. Neve. So this is, this is also red, and this has got a little bit of warmth, this red. So there's a little bit of a yellow undertone as opposed to blue here, and that, that looks great on you. It's quite a bright red. Here we go with pink. This is a very bright pink, Molly. You would absolutely love this. Mm, and with that lipstick, it is, you're just crushing it. Pink red is always a good combo uh, in my book. Yeah, wow. So this is a bright navy blue. It's gorgeous. It looks so gorgeous on you. And it's so, it's distinct from the... It's so funny because we'd never pick up navy. No. Never, never. in a million years. Never. So this one, it the brightness is distinct, right? Because a lot of navies are the dark, like black navies, which is fine. You can wear that too because you're a dark winter. But this bright navy, when you can find that, 
Like that's so stunning, right? So some navies, ladies, are summer navies and they're muted navies. That wouldn't be any good for you, mm -hmm. Molly. Mm -hmm. So we want a solid navy for you. Because it's a dark palette, you can wear any kind of jeans you want to wear, but mm -hmm. if we're looking at outfits, you see how nice this dark denim looks with your palette. And then contrast that with, these are more the summer washed out kind of jeans, and it's totally fine, but it doesn't, the outfit doesn't take off on the same level. So when we talk about accessories with your palette, you know, shoes are not necessarily up by your face, so you, you're free to choose the shoes you like. And looking at elevating your entire outfit, check out how nice, so these black boots, with that, they, they just really complete an outfit. And then, so these, these are burgundy, little short boots, and they also look really great for a dark winter. Mm -hmm. And then just to contrast that with something that's not as great is so, I love these boots, but if you see here, something gets lost in the outfit. It doesn't quite belong. I just took a little snack break and whilst I was eating and drinking my smoothie, um, Joy went through the makeup that I brought. 99% of which is uh, a warm autumn. Is that what it's called? A soft autumn. Soft autumn. So mom will be getting a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now we're gonna go through my clothes. I pray God at least some of it works. It's like pink in, uh, in the center. Oh, Maeve. Well, I'll tell you, so I do like I like the color that's up there. That orange that's right up there, it's gonna be, that's not great right up next to your face. And then I would say the overall body of it is like a very light pink purple. And that's that's not a, in your dark winter palette. I just know that I mostly wear pastels and warm colors. So I just yeah. know that most of my clothes yeah. aren't good. And honestly, when I came home, I, I don't know, if I had almost nothing in my season, yeah. right? So on here, like how you use this palette is this palette represents you and all the colors that are inherently there in your skin, hair, and eyes. And so we're looking for if this palette is Molly, like how does Molly look in this jacket? And what you can see is that Molly's way more color than this jacket is. The jacket's in the background, Molly's in the foreground. And so when we wear things that are not as much color as what we are colored, then we end up looking a little bit paler or more drawn. Mm -hmm. So I would say that's not one of your best. Let's see here. So this, this pink is, that's a warm pink, a very warm pink. And then that green, yeah, I would say that green is, is warmer than what you are. So I'd say that's not gonna be a great one on you. Well, I think that's pretty good. So when we're looking here, we're looking at Molly, like how does Molly look? Like meaning how does the palette look compared to that? And it's like, oh, pretty good, right? Yeah. And then also remember how I talked about that? We want to see you all at once. We want to see your garment and we want to see you. And I can see this all at once. Like that green is holding up. It's, it's like a dark green. So it's holding up quite nice. So I would keep that. Okay, so we know my color palette, but what's Elton John's? Elton Melton, we're gonna drape your colors, babe. Oh yeah, that, that looks good. Are you a true winter? Oh, we have to get him a bit of that <laughs> color. <laughs> we're gonna need to get you some true winter. And his band very colors. best color is red. Smashing, buddy. You look it's his smashing. very, very best. <laughs> oh, I think that was definitely worth it. Okay, friends, it's been a couple of days since I met the absolute delight that is Joy. She was so sweet. I think my mom and I made a new friend, a kindred spirit. I could not recommend her enough. She was just such a, a gem to spend the day with. Loved her energy, loved her whole vibe, and overall, I think it was a really, really fun experience. That said, I was exhausted and so hormonal. So the moment I got home, I crawled into bed in my pajamas and I slept hard. Uh, so it's a couple days later, I have since got my period, the hormones are flooding out, and oh my god, I feel so much better. <laughs> Having a uterus is difficult, that's all I can say about it. I wanted to kind of encapsulate all of my thoughts. Now that I've had a few days to reflect on it, I am more rested and less hormonal. Number one, I think it's easier to be a warm tone. Being a cool tone is a little bit more difficult with both makeup and fashion, I think, because a lot of stuff in stores tends to lean toward, towards warm tones. And I think it's interesting that overall, what I gravitate towards is not necessarily the best colors for me. Um, I gravitate towards pastels, and most of my colors would be more jewel tones or more um, 
saturated colors. And I think it's interesting, like, yeah, I would have thought maybe I'd be naturally drawn to colors that suit me well, and maybe if I could see, I would be. Um, so that was one thing that I found really interesting. I think some people are going to leave these experiences and go all in. Like, that's just their personality. They are just going to want to switch their whole life, either quickly or over time, to being exclusively the colors that best suit them. Um, I think I will more use this as a guide or a tool. I think it was really fun. I'm really glad that I am kind of empowered with that information. Um, but I'm not going to get rid of all of my clothes and my makeup and switch everything over. I'm going to use it as a guide and as a tool um, and kind of have it in my tool belt for moments when I might want to lean in to that and get something that's really going to make me pop, really suit me well. But the, the thing is, being a very petite woman and having a pretty specific style that I like, um, it's hard enough to shop for me. Would you agree, Mom? Yes, it is. It can be really difficult to find clothes that suit me and fit me and work with my body already. So I think then having to find colors that are like finding the piece, the brand, and then the color, it seems like a lot. So I think I'm going to use it to be like, oh, there's multiple different colors, which one would suit me best and kind of use it as a guide. But if I find something that I love that isn't in my palette, I'm still going to buy it. You know what I mean? Um, so you do get to take this away. Everybody who does these gets to take this away with them, um, which is what you saw her comparing my clothes against. And this is my palette, the Deep or Dark Winter. And so I can kind of use this to compare the different colors when I go shopping, keep it in my handbag, use it to find a lipstick or a blush, an eyeshadow palette. I can also, there's Facebook groups um, that you can join. I think that's another great tool as a blind person if you do this. You can join Facebook groups that are specific just to your season, so like a deep dark winter. Um, I could join that and then be like, hey, I'm looking for a fuchsia lipstick. Do you have any suggestions? I'm looking for you know, a royal blue dress. Do you have any suggestions? And other people with your same color palette will be able to share their information with you uh, or kind of be your eyes and help guide you through it, which I think is really awesome. You can also use this to look at hair colors and things like that. Something that I think is interesting is I tend to find people like the warmer hair colors on me, the coppers, the rose golds, the um, coral pinks, uh, the warm honey blondes over like when I do an ash blonde or a blue toned purple or pink. So I think that's fascinating because that isn't my coloring. I should be getting more compliments or people should be liking the ash blonde on me more than the honey blonde. So I wonder if that's just because as a society we're used to seeing warm colors more and we in general gravitate to warm colors. I think warm colors are warm. They're like, there's something comforting about warm colors to, to people in general, which is why I think they're very popular. But I love black, I love gray, I love a blue toned red. So there are definitely still colors that are cool toned um, that I do love and really gravitate towards as well. Overall, do I wish I was a warm season? Yes. But guess what? You don't have to wear something just because it's, quote, the most flattering on you. You can wear what you like, and that's what I'm taking away from this. I did try to pick the eyeshadow in my eyeshadow collection that I thought maybe was more of a cool brown. I don't know if it looks any good. It's cute. It brings out your eyes, like your eyes look more green today. Could be what you're wearing too. I don't know, it'll be fun. It'll be fun over the next little while now that I'm armed with this information to experiment with colors that might be outside of my comfort zone or things that I wouldn't usually pick and put them on and, and see how they look, see how I feel in them. I'm going to be leaving all of Joy's information, her website and her social media down below. If you want to learn more about this, definitely give her a follow. She makes lots of great content about it. And her website, of course, is down below in case you'd like to book a session. Um, I think it would have been easier if I could see myself. I know she was talking about lots of different clients and their experiences. And, you know, she was telling me that she has people come in with really low self-esteem, just feeling like not confident. They don't know how to dress themselves. They're, they're not feeling good in their clothes. And she's able to, to completely change how they feel about themselves because they're able to see with those drapes the difference that the right colors make for them um, and they leave feeling much more empowered, much more confident and really excited and rejuvenated to revamp their life and their wardrobe. Um, and I think that's amazing. Like I love that this can do that for people. For me, it felt a bit more overwhelming um, and more daunting because I can't see myself and because a lot of the colors 
are not colors that I'm naturally gravitating towards or naturally purchasing. Um, and I, I think if I could see the mirror and I could see the reflection of how good these colors make me look, uh, I would maybe be more excited. Um, so I think that was like an interesting experience as a blind woman, just another way that being blind kind of impacts my experience of something. But if you feel like this is something you would benefit from, I absolutely encourage you to do it. Overall, I'm still really happy that I did. And unfortunately, Joy does not do virtual consultations because colors do just look different virtually. For example, the colors that you're seeing reflected on the screen right now probably aren't necessarily the way they're looking in real life. And so she doesn't do them virtually, but she does have people fly in um, and travel to see her. So if this is something you want to do, all of that information is down below. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you know your season, drop it down below. I'm very curious. Do we have any deep, dark winters here with me? Uh, and until next time, you can click over here to to see my blind girl fashion advice or over here to see some more of my blind girl beauty tips and tricks and I'll see you next time. Bye!